year marks the 26th annual Central Coast Parade, or Central Coast Bride rather, and members of the LGBTQ community are and allies are getting ready to celebrate Pride Month. KSBY's Eduardo Wihon Jr. spoke with the Gala Pride and Diversity Center about the security measures in place for the Central Coast Pride. The Gala Pride and Diversity Center says its Pride celebration this weekend will be secured with local law enforcement and volunteers as they plan on providing a safe space for everyone. Pride is, is a time where people can find spaces to feel like they belong. As controversy continues across the nation over the display of Pride flags, drag show performances, and bans on gender-affirming care, some people in the LGBTQ plus community may be unsure about whether they have safe spaces to turn to. While many people in the U.S. begin to celebrate Pride Month, Central Coast Pride wants the community to know that they have been working with the San Luis Obispo Police Department and volunteers to help keep the public safe. We have been working closely with Slow PD. They are aware of all of our events and they are putting time and attention to those and will be on call for anything at all that we need. The Gala Pride and Diversity Center has also hired security to monitor all of their events. Some volunteers have been trained with de-escalation techniques to help prevent any situations that may arise. It's unfortunate that we have to think so hard about this, but, but we do. There are some people with hate in their lives. I, I wish that they would actually put that hate aside for a moment and come to one of the events with an open mind and open heart and just see. The nonprofit has made an effort to listen to safety concerns from allies and members of the LGBTQ plus community ahead of the three day celebration. It's really hearing what what do you need to feel safe? Because what you need to feel safe is likely a little bit different or maybe a lot of bit different from what I need to feel safe. Central Coast Pride is expected to run throughout multiple locations in the city. Reporting in San Luis Obispo, I'm Eduardo Wicona Jr., KSBY News. Today is Hunger Awareness Day and the community has an opportunity to make a tangible difference in the lives of those struggling to